Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here with a review of point, the Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium in Tacoma, Washington. So we hadn't planned to go to any uh, any zoos or anything while we were in Washington State. But we were looking for something else. Actually, I think it was the Point Defiant Park itself. And we came upon actually the Zoo and Aquarium. I would read a little bit about it. I knew it was a decent zoo, but what um, I really liked about it, it was not only a zoo, but it had a, a good-sized actual aquarium also attached to it that was had been built fairly recently. The day was beautiful here, uh, everyone. It was a great day. Uh, this is this was recorded in July, mid-July of 2023. The views were awesome. You see Mount St. Helens and all the different uh, actual, um, a lot of the famous mountains here. It was really hot in a little bit, but it was still beautiful. Uh, some reason people think when the Pacific Northwest is always cool, man, it's not in the summer. I've been here a couple of summers, and it's been like really hot, and especially the last few years, a lot more actual um, heat waves going on. They had elephants here. It was a decent sized zoo. Uh, really, no complaints. The only real complaint I would say we had is like for three of us, it was like sixty six dollars. Even with like a veteran discount for me, it was still like it was sixty six bucks. I was like, mm, that's a lot. I mean, I don't know if you went to it all the time and you really like zoos, you probably get like a membership or something. But I was like, man, that's a lot. And they were do they were busy too. There was a lot of people people here on the day we went, which was maybe a Tuesday, Tuesday or uh, Wednesday, I would guess. And there was a lot of folks there. School is out right now, uh, so there was even more than usual. Uh, because of that and they had a zoo camp going on so there was a variety of animals at this uh, zoo from tapirs tapers tapirs to elephants um, there was tigers uh, there was a variety and I think we missed some of the animals to be honest with you this video is not of every animal at this uh, zoo actually and this was just a short video I really had planned not, I did not plan to take a video here, but after a while I was like, I can at least do an eight or nine minute video for people that are going to be visiting Pacific Northwest that may be interested in the, the Tacoma, uh, are just interested in going to a zoo and an aquarium, and maybe they don't want to spend a whole day. So we kind of zipped through here, um, not super fast, but we, we walked through here at a brisk pace, a lot of it stopped at certain things that like really interested us, um. And we didn't spend our whole day here. We spent maybe, I would guess, three hours. Now, if you walk slow or you just walk like normal and you got little kids and stuff, it's going to take you quite a bit longer. But for those people who want to check out a zoo or got kids or teenagers or something or just themselves want to check out a zoo, but they don't really want to burn up their whole vacation day at the zoo, then I would definitely recommend Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium because it's going to give you both. It's going to give you a decent sized zoo plus a modern aquarium. And so, uh, what I one thing I was bummed about, and is even though it had a new a new aquarium, the other one, as you saw in the video, was closed. So, but if it had both of them open, it'd been actually even way it would have been better having because it had two of them. But one of them's being renovated. But the one I'm showing videos of is the the new one that they spent quite a bit of money on, uh, maybe just a few years ago. So that one's actually um, that was the one we're in. Um, and it's really great. It was really cool to see like the sea turtles playing with a ball in the aquarium. Uh, we enjoyed ourselves in here. My son liked it. They had hammerhead sharks. Uh, it was quite busy, like I said, this day. Uh, but that's that's neither here nor there. We did not eat here, so I can't speak on the food. I cannot speak on uh, the snacks or anything here because we didn't. We brought a couple bottles of water. We walked around. And like I said, this is totally random and at the last minute, uh, to be honest with you. I, and I didn't, and to be honest, also, I didn't want to eat at the zoo. We we're on vacation, and I try not to eat at the zoo. doesn't mean I won't spend a little money and, like, get ice cream or something, but I don't want to eat a meal at the zoo, Just that's just to be honest. I am in a city next to the ocean, so I want, you know, vacation food. I want seafood. I want things like that. You know what I mean? So, but I understand not everyone has that choice. And you got kids. We used to eat all the time, especially when my son was little. Now he's 14 years old, so he eats what we eat. Um, with that being said, um, would I recommend Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium? Yes, I would. Located in Tacoma, Washington, I think it has good value. I didn't. The, the prices were a little, a uh, little high. I thought for the size of the zoo, and maybe and you know what it might have been also is the last zoo we went to was the Pueblo Zoo in Colorado, which cost us like for me and him twenty, 
I don't know, 20 some bucks, 22 bucks or something. It was super cheap. But I also got to remind myself, this is a much larger zoo than a Pueblo Zoo. But it's also underneath the size of, say, the Seattle Zoo. Uh, but and also with that being said, how much would you expend if it was, a, say, there's three of us, me and my spouse and my 14-year-old son, if we went to the Seattle Zoo and then we actually went paid again and went to the Seattle Aquarium? What would that be? Uh, we'll say, what would we say? 150 bucks, Something like that, I would probably guess. I don't know. But we would spent even more money. So... That's neither here nor there. That's just just my opinion on it. Um, Sixty six bucks probably isn't that much, but I'm also a frugal kind of guy. Um, you could see most of the animals that were at the Pueblo or Pueblo Zoo at the Point Defiant Zoo in Tacoma. Most of them were out on this day. It's a beautiful day. They had great viewing areas for you to see the animals. It was easy to walk. I saw all ages there: young, older oldest um you know middle of the road everybody here walking around it was a pretty walkable zoo uh if you have any type of mobility issues i don't think you'll have too i don't think you'll have any issue here to be honest with you um it's easily it's very walkable it was just it was kind of hot for us but like i said it didn't take all day this was not the henry dorley or san diego zoo or anything like that my feet weren't all torn up and hurting by the end of our actual walk around and it only take us a few hours uh, walking at a steady pace and stopping for the main things we liked. And we were done and we went about our day and we did more things. We actually went back to our vehicle, drove down, had lunch or brunch or something like that. Uh, pulled out the electric e-bike uh, e and a scooter and rode around again for a couple hours and actually rode back down to Point Defiance Park, which is funny. It's like, oh, we could have rode our bikes here. But that's neither here nor there and that was okay. We had a great time here, and it's another zoo marked off our list in a city we didn't plan to actually go to the zoo, which is Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium in Tacoma, Washington. We wouldn't have planned that one. We would have probably went to the Seattle Zoo. But honestly, even though it was 66 bucks for three of us, we still saved money over to the Seattle Aquarium and the Seattle Zoo, which would have been better to go those, possibly. But I also didn't want to spend a whole vacation day at an aquarium and a zoo, to be honest with you. I really wanted to check out other things, so this worked out well in the end for us and you we got to see a lot of the animals too um good um good amount of animals uh great aquarium i have no complaints really about it of course my cheapness with the uh, cost i already set, talked about but beyond that it was cool the usual things you run in at the zoo, run into at the zoo i'm trying to get just a quick video or just a quick pick of an animal and or just see it for myself personally it's not that big of a deal and someone stands there and keep standing there and stands there and like dude there's like 10 people behind you versus you know you think about it you know if you're one of the type of people i am i'm going to get up there if i'm taking a video i want to check it out i'm going to do it pretty fast i'm not going to probably even stand there a minute i want to see it oh cool great and i'm going to move because i know i've been that guy or that person in the back behind everyone else waiting to go and you're trying to be polite and then someone will cut in front of you I'm like really you didn't have to do all that but regardless not a big deal. Uh, a lot of kids here, of course, as you'd expect. It's summertime. A lot of people with young ones here. Uh, uh, you know, people that don't work in the summer, or, you know, housewives or whatever, go here. You know, different people go here with their kids. It's something to do to wear your kids out and all that good stuff. Uh, so lots of kiddos. Not a big deal. You expect that. You're at a zoo. You know. Um, yeah. That's it. That's the point to find zoo and aquarium. I got keep saying aquarium because to remind myself there was an aquarium attached, and, and that was really cool. Go down to Tacoma, Washington. If you want to check out zoos, go here and check it out. It won't take up your whole day. I can get through it, and you can see some cool fish too. Anyway, this is Frugal Panda. Everyone, I want to thank you for watching. This is Frugal Panda out. This was Tacoma, Washington, point to find zoo and aquarium.